You now to our other big story of the day in less than four hours. Key decisions in the case against Richard Allen. So right now we know he's charged with two counts of murder in the deaths of Abby Williams and Libby German. But today a judge is set to rule on what comes next in this case. Let's get to our Samantha Johnson who is live in Delphi this morning. And Sam, you are planned to be inside of the courtroom in just a few hours. What can you tell us about what's on the docket today? Yeah, we're going to break down exactly some of these key decisions coming up in just a minute. I also want to mention that this downtown area is now starting to come to life. Really, in just the last few minutes, the police presence has increased. K-9 officers have already come through the scene here. You can even see a few people already lined up to make sure they get their spot inside this courtroom because there are big decisions on the docket today that will shape the future of this case moving forward. And one of them that this community has been waiting for for a long time, Judge Francis Gull is expected to set a trial date today and we have learned that this could actually happen by the end of the year. We're talking about Richard Allen going to trial in the next six months. Also on the docket today, there's a motion to suppress ballistics evidence in this case and that motion actually just came this week from Allen's attorneys who say right now they question the science used by the state to connect a gun found inside Allen's home to an unspent bullet found with Abby Williams and Libby German. So today, Judge Gall will consider whether to keep that evidence when this case heads to trial. Now, we also know there is a private meeting set for today for the judge to talk with the prosecution and defense about bringing in expert witnesses that Allen's attorneys want to hire for his defense. The judge has to approve those witnesses because when they're brought in, they're paid for by public tax dollars. So that is a private conversation that will happen later today. That public hearing is set to get underway this morning at 10 o'clock. We also anticipate there will be a conversation about whether or not Allen should stay in a state prison or be transferred back to a county jail. You can read more about the details of that motion right now at WTHR.com. We, of course, do plan to be inside the courtroom for that hearing today, and we will have updates for you throughout the day, both on air and online at WTHR.com. Julia and Julia. Yeah, a few big decisions coming ahead today. Samantha, thank you.